How to fix 404 page not found errors shown in Google Search Console. As you can see for my blog there is 284 page not found errors. And recently this bar chart has just gone skyrocketed, right? So let's go and find out how we can fix these. Now first of all it's actually a natural part of operating a website to have 404 page not found errors because it could be a temporary thing or it could be that you had a web page long time ago and it's no longer available and if that's the case you can perhaps mark it as fixed straight away if you're aware of that because if the page is no longer available on your website that's what 404 is page not found now having said that if you made let's imagine this is your website and you made a lot of changes in terms of the URL structure of your website now if that's the case and all of a sudden you end up getting lots of page not found errors then you need to triple check everything so let's go and explore how in the world we can fix these let's press on the first example here Google Search Console is saying we have accessed the site on this date, but we first detected it on this date. That means this URL, we couldn't access it once again. First thing to do is actually visit that URL on your website, because it could be a moment in time that Google somehow couldn't access it. And that particular web page may be on your website now. And if you're sure, when you visit that URL, well, that's going to be redirected because I've taken precautions, which I will show you how to do, right? So let's leave that aside once again. If the URL that Google is complaining in terms of 404 page not found error is on your website and you're aware of that, then you can mark it as fixed, no problems. And we also have linked from. Now, this is rather important for you to consider because you may have had a web page that you thought, you know what, I'm going to delete that from my website. But unknown to you, perhaps other people have linked to that web page. Now, if that's the case, the consideration that you should have is that even though you've deleted that web page, you should be saying to yourself, can I create a similar page? Because you're getting backlinks and you don't want to disregard them. If the backlinks are you know, coming from reputable sources, particularly. So you can also create a perhaps blog post with similar content to that page not found. And then do 301 redirection and still keep the backlinking power, so to speak. OK, so. You can always fetch as Google. Let's press on that. Here, Google is saying, you know what? Let's go and fetch that page not found error. So through the search console, you can actually triple check things right here. You can fetch or fetch and render. Let's fetch because in this example, I don't want to render it because I know that's been redirected. So if you're seeing this, that's good enough because that's redirected now, at this moment you don't want to press request indexing because that's redirected so why would you want it in the index it doesn't make any sense right but as I've said it's smart for you to visit it yourself and then double check fetches Google okay so let's imagine that the page not found error is shown and you visited this URL and you end up seeing page not found on your website. So what you can do, what you can do is you can do 301 redirection. Now, there are many different ways to accomplish this. If you're using WordPress, you can simply search the plugin directory by simply pressing add new 301 redirection there are many plugins that allow you to do 301 redirection 
your web hosting account also I will have um, redirection I'm using crazy domains here and we have under domains we have redirects if you're using GoDaddy simply locate cPanel and then you'll also see redirects they are doing the same thing right so let's imagine let's copy this URL and let's say okay the path is this so whether you're using a 3i1 redirection plugin or not as in or if you're doing it manually like this then what you will need to do is copy the old URL that no longer is available on your website identify a URL that you believe has similar content that's very important or else simply don't do redirection because we have to think like Google searcher if someone is searching for let's imagine these keywords as an example only and if in the first result my website details was here and if someone clicks on this goes to my blog and then that content is no longer available meaning they end up seeing this then Google definitely dislikes that because it provides bad user experience for Google's searchers make sense but let's imagine someone searched for this but I do have a content that is very similar if that's the case that's the perfect candidate for 3i1 redirection that's how it's meant to be done so therefore I can safely redirect this page not found error shown in search console to its new counterpart because it has absolutely very similar content and then simply press on add redirection that means when someone requests the page not found they will automatically be redirected to this new URL furthermore in this example all these links pointing to this old URL that is no longer available will pass on important ranking factors now at this moment once you fix this up then you can simply mark as fixed so this is how it's meant to be done makes sense it is rather natural as I've said to you actually while here let me show you another method that you may consider using which is through .hdxs file so as I've said whether you're using crazy domains your daddy that makes no difference in your cPanel once you log in to public underscore HTML that's the usual name convention for web servers you can right click first download .htaccess file and then press on edit I'll show you my local copy because it's much better in this example I've just added this line I've simply copied the old URL shown to me in search console and then I have said you know what that old URL is no longer on my website but the new counterpart is this and let me do 3i1 redirection make sense so I've shown you many different ways for you to do that you can use plugins if you're using WordPress if you're not using WordPress and you don't want to touch .htaccess file simply log into your web hosting account and find redirects option and then follow the methods as I'll show you and at this moment I can say how about this one let's take a look let's see this is the first thing that I see if I'm getting backlinks because if I'm getting backlinks which are very important then I, do I really want to lose those backlinks because if I don't do 3i1 redirection that means I will lose 
those backlinks, the link will be cut because it's no longer available on my website. And that's the last thing that I would want to do. Make sense? So this is what you need to do. Simply go through it. And once you're comfortable with saying, okay, you know what? Those pages are no longer there. I am aware of that. Then you can mark as fixed if you don't have similar content. If you do have similar content, then follow the 301 option, whether you use a plugin, web hosting, or if you add a .hdxs file by simply using this line here. Surely you would change it to match your website details. All these things do the same thing. So that is how you meant to fix 404 page not found errors shown to you in Google Search Console. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.